Oh man, I'm having a real hard time getting this one started, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do here in this one. Recording this after the first week of the NFL just happened, and boy, I can tell you one thing. Not expecting what the Bears ended up putting out there versus the Green Bay Packers. I mean, I shouldn't be, you know, maybe too surprised. The Bears are going to always find a way to be the Bears and just F things up, regardless of who's that quarterback for the Packers. I mean, it is what it is. They found a way. I'm not trying to make this a long rant, you know, of anything or trying to make this a video about <laughs> that game. But like I said, I am a Bears fan, so it's just kind of one of these things. You just kind of just want to get it off the chest a little bit. I help you feel better, so... Any of you guys that are Bears fan watching, you know, y'all know what I'm feeling. It's uh, it just makes you want to pull your hair out. Like it's annoying. Bad play calling, bad execution. Look sloppy. Didn't look prepared. No adjustments being made at all. But you know, it is what it is. It's a long season. Week one is not going to determine you know who makes the playoffs or who wins the Super Bowl or anything. But. That's not the start to the season we were looking for as we are now underway here. Sunday night football versus the Los Angeles Chargers here in SoFi Stadium. Let's start off with a touchback. We'll take it. We have a tough matchup, though. Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen. And that's just the offensive side of the ball. Herbert off to a solid start, 1,500 yards, eight touchdowns. Actually, man, maybe that's not that good of a start, actually, now I think about it. Only eight touchdowns, and we're in week what? what? This week eight, week nine maybe. Actually, Herbert's off to a slow start. I wonder if Herbert got ended up getting hurt at some point this year. But here is their star quarterback, or I guess you could say superstar quarterback, and we'll just start off in the air here, and it's going right to Keenan Allen, who'll pick up a gain of three as he's pushed out of bounds. But yeah, I, I'm extremely pissed off. I'm agitated. It gave me a headache today. <laughs> like it, it finally cleared. Like. After a few hours, man, that that one was just a brutal one to watch. Like third downs were very bad. They couldn't stop the run at all, which is surprising because the first drive of the game versus the Packers, the run game for the Packers was looking great, and then they just stopped going away from it. And then it finally went okay. Second half they opened it up and they started giving Aaron Jones the ball. So they finally actually started doing what was working the best. But yeah, I just don't get it. I mean they executed fairly poorly throughout the entire game it was a very very conservative like call offensively and defensively both coordinators i'm like what is going on they didn't i don't even know if they blitz love more than like two or three times in that game like absolutely ridiculous here's the first and 10 justin herbert up in our territory now they're gonna give a handoff here the first run of the day to eckler eckler's got a solid game of nine. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you know, our defense looks in real life. <laughs> Giving a big run play at the run play. Giving these teams second down and short. Third down and short. Easily manageable. <sighs> yeah. I, I, I'm pissed off. I apologize. You know, if it sounds like, you know. Oh, boy. I think. Oh, my goodness. I think Tremaine Edmonds ended up getting hurt during the weekly training. Oh, good grief. I'm, one, I'm like, where the hell is Edmonds at? As Eckler picks up a first down to the 30-yard line. No, we don't have anybody hurt. Where the hell is Tremaine Edmonds? Does somebody want to explain why Edmonds is sitting here at the, not even as a starter? Hey, right, bro, Matt, what the fuck are y'all doing? I'm not in the mood, bro. I am not. Why is Edmonds literally, he's not even in the top four. Why is he not starting? I did not touch anything that will make it where he would not be the starting middle linebacker. I have not even messed with his depth chart in a good little minute now. Like, outside of moving Tyler Scott, Good grief, man. Like, what the hell was that about? They're going to play action pass here. Looking downfield, taking a shot. Wants Mike Williams. Oh, Kyler Gordon had an opportunity to pick it off. Mike Williams dropped it. Gordon had it in his hands, but couldn't come away with it. And that's another thing. Kyler Gordon ended up leaving that game. I don't know what the extent of his injury is, but they said it was a hand injury. I don't know how long he's going to end up being out, but. Not good when you're losing your starting nickel under pressure, and that one's going to be thrown in the back of the end zone. Yeah, let's see if we can do one thing that the Bears wouldn't do in real life, and that is heat up a quarterback. We're going to send a blitz here, third down and 10. Let's see if we can get home. And pressure starting to get there. Sanborn's going to finally bring him down on the side. They're going to reward him with a half set with Demarcus Walker. That might have taken them out of field goal range. It's going to bring a 59 yard if they do decide to kick it. Herbert had nowhere to go downfield. Good job by the secondary. Able to lock it up. 
And they will send out their kicker for a long 59-yard field goal to get them on the board here early. Will they be able to connect from deep? This one is wide to the left. We're going to have great field position to start. Pretty much at midfield. And let's see if our offense can take advantage. And let's get some points on the board. We're going to take out our, our anger on these charges, man. we got to be smart, though. Don't want to be playing sloppy football out here. On a solid little win streak. See if Justin Fields can get something going. Fields actually didn't play that bad in real life. He did have an awful interception. You could tell he was just, like, done with the game. But yeah, there's an awful interception. There's another pick six. How many times has he thrown pick six versus the Packers, too? Is that a... See, the second or third one he's already thrown in his career to them. It's like, good grief, dude. And Mac trying to sit the edge. Clear Herbert bounces and able to get five yards. We're in charge of territory now. Clear Herbert coming off of a great game. We were able to run all over them. Herbert picked up 140 yards on the ground in that win over. And a two touchdown in that win over the Raiders. It's also good to see that Mooney, you know, wasn't going to be out any long term. He just ended up leaving that game. So hopefully, you know. Things will look up for the offense as Mercedes Lewis comes across. Able to pick up a gain of six, our third. Well, actually, he might even be considered put in the second spot right now. Depending on how they got it going. But a double teaming DJ Moore over there, so <laughs> I guess we'll let that be. We're going to go play action pass, looking downfield. We'll just take our check down. We got Cole Komet who gets hit big time. Picks up a gain of six. But hey, making a second down and short. We'll take it. And well, it looks like they're bringing a double safety blitz here. Yeah, we got to see if we can make them pay. I'm not a big fan of the play calls that we're given here, but I guess we'll see what we can get. Second down and four. We'll take a shot to the end zone, maybe. I'm going to take a shot. We want Claypool. Claypool going deep. Claypool's got it. And just like that, Chase Claypool back to back weeks. And his role has been diminished a little bit, but with a touchdown in back to back games. Let's go. Chase Claypool able to. Actually, I'm not exactly sure who he ended up burning on that route, but it's going to be an easy pitch and catch. Finally, him and Justin Fields able to connect on a deep ball. How many times have we went deep to Claypool this year and not have been able to come up with it? Yeah, how about you guys, though? Did you guys week one go well for your teams that you ended up enjoying? I know <laughs> I know a few of my friends that are Titan fans, they were not too pleased with the performance of Ryan Tannehill. You know, one of our subscribers that I always watch, Alex, I know you're not happy. With what the Pittsburgh Steelers also put out on performance. So, a lot of fans, uh, a lot of people I know that watch my channel. So, if I know, wasn't the best week. Actually, I think the only one who I can say that actually maybe had a decent day was my friend Kyle. He's a Ravens fan. But even then, they ended up losing a couple guys. J.K. Dobbins sounds like he's going to be out for the year. Torn Achilles. Dobbins just cannot avoid that injury bug at all, man. You hate to see guys' careers just be thrown off. I believe he tore an ACL once already in his career. And now he's got this hanging over his head, man. Yeah, that's just tough. It's second and 11. I think we get a good stop on first down. And they're going to go underneath. And it is going to be Russell down. Kyler Gordon, TJ Edwards able to make a play to limit Eckler. Lineup still were not set. Edmonds was not in for, like, nickel situation. So we got that situated here. Third down and nine. Let's see if the defense can get off the field. Back to throw. Looking downfield. Under pressure is Herbert. Can they get to him? They will not. He will throw it away, though. Almost got our second sack of the day. It went four verticals, and we were able to hang on once again. Good job by the secondary. And that'll be a three and out for the Chargers. Not the start they were looking for here on Sunday Night Football. You know, just like real life, the Cowboys are shutting out an opponent. They didn't put up 40 points that they did on the Giants this week. My goodness, boy. I, I thought nobody was going to get worse than what the Bears performed versus the Packers. With the Giants, literally the very next game, I mean, my goodness, man. Just getting absolutely demolished at home. Offense had nothing going for them. And it all started after the block kick. Mm, another thing. Why the hell did the Bears not end up going to DJ Moore? The man had two catches for 25 yards. I get Jair was shadowing him most of the game. But my goodness, he's your best player. Best asset is Fields misses him right there. And the two catches he had, he clearly showed he is that guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, once again, I'm not trying to make this video about that game, but, my goodness, I just got to get it off my chest. I don't do the Bears podcast anymore. But, oh, man. It's third down and nine. We'll see if we can pick it up. We're going to just dump it down quickly. We got Juice Herbert and Khalil not able to pick up the first down. We'll have to send it away, three and out. See if we can play the field position game a little bit. Third and two. Can the defense get out the field again? Let's force another three and out. Oh, they're going play action. They got a wide. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, come on, Madden. 
I literally hit the swap button and Kyler Gordon literally just didn't do anything. He ran underneath everything. Y'all saw. I mean, just look at this. He just runs right underneath. Like, what is that? Like, come on, bro. That's not a completion. Uh, first and 10. Up, up. up almost to midfield here. Oh, oh what the heck, bro? Why did... Yeah, well, there's a touchdown. Okay. I didn't know they were going to put me on Colbert. Colbert ends up doing the dumbass hit stick shit. And that's a touchdown. That is an easy, easy touchdown. That drive should have never ended up in points. That should have been a knockdown or something. Something contested by Kyler Gordon on that play. I know I get frustrated with Madden anyway, but my frustration is elevated a lot more. Here comes Bayless. We probably shouldn't have came out the end zone. Hell. Yeah. Well, didn't even get to the 20-yard line. Let alone the 25 where if we would just stayed in the end zone, that's where we would have been at. All right, momentum kind of swinging back in the Chargers' favor here. We got to see if we can claim it back. Hand off Herbert. Herbert breaking a tackle. Herbert breaks another tackle. Can he get through Dermot James? No, he's going to have a first down, though, up to the 31-yard line. Good running by Khalil Herbert. Third and seven. Let's see if we can pick this one up. And, oh, boy. DJ didn't run. Hey, he didn't run up as far upfield as far as I thought it was, but I also thought he was going to cut it over. Ball is knocked out of his hands. We're going to have to punt this one away. His first and 10 for Khalil. Not Khalil, oh my goodness. Justin Herbert and company. He's going to start off with a quick fire out. Keenan Allen able to get the feet in bounds. My goodness, boy. Great catch on the sideline. And make it a second down and three. First down and 10 after the short completion to pick up a first down. They will go right back to Eckler here. And Eckler's got a solid game. He'll pick up six. And here's a toss play out there to Eckler. And oh my goodness, Brisker had it blown up in the backfield. I don't know what he was doing on that one. The little truck animation just made him not do anything. And here comes a third down and three. We'll see if we can get off the field. Let's see what they decide to do here. And they're going to go to the air. And it's a quick out. Keenan Allen's got an easy first down. He's catching all the quick little completions, and he's picking up good yardage. And Keenan Allen, just like that, is already glowing. That's not a good start. And Austin Eckler hit hard. Only going to pick up one. It's third and six. Let's see if we can get off the field here. Kind of struggling right now to do it. I go back to the air. And over the... Oh, man, I saw the end late. First down, picking it up. Josh Palmer's got it. Herbert over 100 yards passing on the day. And right now, it doesn't look like we can get a stop. First 10, they go right back to the air here. And under pressure is Herbert. That's going to be a sack for Travis Gibson. Might even be considered a coverage sack right there. To bring up a second down in 22. A good stop right there for the defense. Let's see if we can keep them back here, though, man. Let's not give up a bunch of yards so they can get right back in the field goal range. They're going to go back to the air. And wide open over the middle. Palmer fights off, and they get the first down, no problem. Oh, my goodness, boys. This defense is just awful. Awful in real life, too. So it shouldn't really come to a surprise. There's no pass rush. It's just no no good scheme. I mean, it's Madden, too. There's no defense on this game at all. And, oh, my goodness. We got to have that sack. Who do we click on to that couldn't end up making the sack? Just giving us a five wide look here. I don't know if we'll be able to get off the field here, but oh, it's not even third down. And they're going to pick up. Oh, no, guess who it is again? Josh Palmer, the best wide receiver at breaking tackles of all time. Looking like a running back. Second and goal. We're going to run commit, but run committing just leaves a wide open hole. Eckler walks in for a second touchdown, untouched. I had a feeling this game could end up getting ugly, and right now it is starting to trend that way. Offense hasn't done anything since we know we had the great field position. We're going to start off with a run to Herbert. Herbert's going to make a man miss. Herbert going to be wrapped up. Derwin James brings him down at the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back good game so far for Herbert, though. Got to a good start here in, in San Diego. Oh, not San Diego, Los Angeles. First and 10, play action pass. We'll just hit it underneath. We got Cole Komet and man, we may have Tyler Scott, but it's going to end up working out anyway. We got a first down up to the 37-yard line. We got to tie this ball game up here before half. Here's second and nine. We'll see if we can go to the air and pick up something here. And we're going to hit Cole Komet over the middle. But why would he be able to hang on? Josh Palmer's hanging on to everything. Here's a big third down and nine. We need to pick this up, y'all. Back to the air. We're going to take off. Fields extends for the first down. Not going to be able to get it. 
We'll head to the two minute warning, 14 inches. We'll see what they decide to do. I feel like we kind of got to go for it, but I don't know. It's 14 inches, like. Plus, we're on their side of the field. We got to go for it, man. They're telling us to kick it. I'm going to listen to what they say, but boy, I'm not a big fan of the decision. Now, we could overwrite this and I'm about, about to miss it. Okay, great job, Santos. No clue how you ended up knocking that through. We absolutely did terrible on that meter. That should have been wide right. Or at least the ball should have trajected that way. Thankfully, it didn't come back to bite us. We cut the lead down to four. Defense, y'all got to stiffen up, boys. Stop allowing Josh Palmer to just go wreak havoc on y'all. Like, my goodness. And this was a quick one. Oh, oh my goodness, Brisker. Just thrown away by Gerald Everett. And that is a big first down, and that is quick striking charges, boy. They can do it with they can do it with the best of them, man, for sure. And we are really in danger now. Back to the air. And they go underneath here. Mike Williams has it. Mike Williams breaking a tackle. He'll pick up nine. Second and one. They go quick passing game, and they're gonna find Mike Williams for a first down. We have three white jerseys around Mike Williams. How was that ball completed? First and 10. They're going to, I don't know if that was a screen. I think it was a screen. Good job, Eddie Jackson, able to get over there in time before that one became a big game. We really need to hold them to three here. And once again, I don't understand what their timeout situation is. Dude. They they come to the huddle, then they pick a play, and then the second leaves the clock. Like, come on, man. Second and 10, wide open, Mike Williams. He's fighting for the end zone. He's going to be down at the one. Chargers still have one timeout left. Let's we'll see what they decide to do here. This clock is just ticking. They're not running no huddle either. How Mike Williams didn't get in the end zone, I'm not sure. And, boy, they are running out of time here. They, and they're going to call a timeout. One se oh, four seconds left here at the one-yard line. Let's we'll see what they decide to do. I don't know who the hell over there blew coverage, but my gosh. And the Chargers are actually going to come out with a field goal. So I guess they're just going to take the seven-point lead going into halftime, and they will connect easily. All right, well, we need our offense to get a move on now. We got to get this game tied back up. We're starting off in shotgun formation here on first and ten. We're going to take a quick shot. And not able to make the play as the linebacker has great range on that coverage. Eric Kendricks, the former Viking, able to make the play. And we got a second and ten read option. Justin Fields puts it on the turf. And, boy, it's just like real life. Putting it on the turf. Justin Fields' first turnover of the day. And, honestly, give up a touchdown here. That might do it for us because we're not stopping them at all anymore. We started off strong, you know. Had them on the first couple of drives. But now it is just, uh-uh. And why are they running read option with Herbert? And Herbert's trucking Kyler Gordon. So, Herbert just gets hit stick. Herbert doesn't fumble. But Justin Fields is going to fumble on a routine tackle. Let's make it make sense, Madden. Let's make it make sense. And Kyler Gordon, you got to be embarrassed. Somebody tell me how this is going to end up being a truck. He lowers his left shoulder, whiffs. But no, the right shoulder just knocks him out. Got him with that elbow, boy. Herbert must have a mean elbow or Kyler Gordon just has a weak chin. Because my gosh. Potentially about to get out of hand. Going to the air. Back to throw. And why would it not be stopped? Had a big mismatch, though. Donald Palm Jr. on Eddie Jackson. I mean, that is a huge tight end versus not that big of a safety in Eddie Jackson. And he's just first and 10. We got to go back to the air because right now we don't really have much else. We're running out of time. Down 14. I mean, we still got a full half, but we got to get something going. Second and four, going to the ground here. Khalil Herbert picking up another first down for us. Herbert, once again, having a solid day on the ground, picking up good yardage. First and 10, and intercepted. And boy, he just ran right into uh, it's Asante Samuel Jr. I don't know if that's his first career pick or not, but he's got it here off of Justin Fields. Intended for Tyler Scott. That's back-to-back -back drives with a turnover. And we're about to get blown out here. I, <laughs> why is Scott running behind him? Like, come on. Like, man, what the fuck? Here's second and seven. They're going to run it. Eckler is not going to. Oh, my. Oh, he is not about to stiff arm anybody, man. Hold up. Defense got to get off the field. Travis Gibson is going to get in there on the sack. Set the heat. 
And Gibson's able to get in there. That's our third sack of the day, so the pick doesn't come back to bite us, but fair has got back-to-back -back drives with turnovers. Like, <laughs> this is getting very eerily similar to what's going on, what happened in real life today. Third and four, let's see if we can pick it up. We're going underneath. We got Mooney. Mooney's got some space. He's going to pick up a decent gain, and that is a first down as we're across the 35-yard line. Second and six, we're going to the air. We got wide open Cole Komet. Komet's got a first down up past the 40 to the 38. Komet was just absolutely wide open. <laughs> Not exactly sure what happened. I don't, I don't know. Did they send a blitz on that or he just, it could just been blown coverage. And we're going to go over. We got Tyler Scott coming over the middle, able to pick up a first down. And he's got his second grab of the day. Offense finally starting to find something for the first time in a while. I really hope Joey Bosa doesn't end up blowing this one up. Here's a first down and 10. Oh, thank goodness he's in pass. That's exactly what we want Bosa. If he wants to cover and pass, come on, make a move. DJ Moore down to the one. Oh, man. Oh, but now we're losing starting center Cody White here. Great move by DJ Moore. Was hoping he found a way to get into the end zone. He was not able to, but we're down at the one. DJ Moore's first grab of the day. My goodness. We're looking like real life, and we're not getting him the ball. First and goal from the one. Fields will keep it untouched to the end zone. Touchdown. This lead is now cut to a one possession game. We're down seven. As well, someone will make the extra point because that last kick we ended up having did not go too well. And oh, Whitehead dislocates his elbow. Yikes. He's going to, I man, he's going to be out for a while with that injury. But we got a big mismatch right here. We don't want that at all. Hopefully they're going to the ground. They are actually going to go to the ground, but it, well, it's just a wide open hole though. <laughs> Eckler picks up another big gain on the day. He's got a first down up to the 43-yard line. And we had TJ Edwards lined up versus Keenan Allen. That was never going to go well, and did nothing go well on that play. First and 10, let's see if they go right back to the ground. They will, and we're going to run right by him with Eddie Jackson, but he is going to lose a yard on the play. Eckler is over 100 yards on the game. Not this pass run, but the one before that got him there. It's a huge series for our defense, man. we got to get a stop and off this field. Second and 11. They're going to read option again, and it's blown up. Justin Herbert, yeah, try running over Tremaine Edmonds because it's not happening. If it does, I'm straight up, like, getting off this game. Third and 14, defense, we need to get off the field and get a stop. Come on, man. Can we get a pass rush? Going to the air. Looking downfield, and that is an inaccurate throw. One of Josh Palmer, Tyree Stevenson trying to get in the Palmer's head there. The rookie might want to, you know, chill out with it. It's going to be a good stop by the defense. We're not out of this one just yet. And Scott will punt it away to Scott. We'll see it at the 15-yard line. Let's see if we can get a good run back. He's going to end up breaking a tackle. He gets up to the 30. 15 yards on the run back. We'll take it. Justin Fields can have an opportunity to tie this game up. This is second down in three. Play action pass. Looking downfield. We got a wide open Cole Komet. He's got a big first down all the way to the 23-yard line of the Chargers. And the offense is starting to find some life here. <laughs> Let's go. Fifth catch of the day for Komet. 84 yards. Able to get away from Khalil Mack is Herbert. Not Herbert, but Fields. Making a beautiful throw on the run. See, he can throw on the run, gang. I don't know why we'd be missing so many. I like the matchup of Moore in the slot here. See if we can get it. Five wide. Going back to the air. And, oh, DJ Moore has his man cooked, and but it's knocked away. Joey Bosa is down. That is nice to see. Asante Samuel somehow is able to make a play on that ball. There is no way that is not a touchdown. Like, seriously. Feels under pressure. He, he was hit as he threw. But, like, <laughs> why is this ball that underthrown? I just don't understand why the balls get underthrown so much on this game. Third down and six. See if we can pick it up. Completion potentially ends this third quarter. Throwing on third down, Fields. You know, good coverage downfield. I wanted Claypool so badly right there. A sack is going to bring us to the end of the third. Fields a little slow to get up. That's the first sack of the day, I believe, for the Chargers. Too. They have not gotten to us that much. I'm surprised that they haven't given us much of a you know pass rush, but we have to kick a field goal. Our second of the day coming up. I mean, I guess if we throw the ball now, maybe that gets the clay pool. But Eric Kendrick's like, <laughs> like, how does he even know that, oh, clay pool's right behind him. He just immediately darts back there and says, like, oh, yeah, this is my zone now. 
But, I mean, that, that ends up being a cover sack. Tevin Jenkins shouldn't be knocked for a sack, but... Because we're not going to be able to get that ball to Mooney. Mooney's double coverage right there. They're going to find a way to jump that. Our best bet was being able to, was for Kendricks to not make a play like that, but it's going to end up being to take off the fields, and unfortunately, we did not get the opportunity. And Cairo Santos has no issues. Cuts the lead down to four. Unfortunately, not able to tie it up. We need the defense to continue to come through. And we got this freaking mismatch again. <laughs> TJ Edwards on Keenan Allen. Thankfully, they're going to run the ball here. Kyler Gordon. Where, oh, my goodness, Kyler. You must be slow as dirt. Edward Leonard just outran you to that. And you didn't come close to even making a play on him as he picks up a first down 15 yards. Oh, my goodness, dude. We have nobody that can do things properly on the running game. Eckler is just killing us. Play action pass. Eckler is now glowing. He's got his X Factor activated. And Keenan Allen. Hey, breaks the tackle after a big hit. And is he enough fumbling that ball when he went out of bounds? But just the Herbert, 80% completion percentage. 20 of 25. Absolutely just shredding us. Second and 10. Once again, Herbert making adjustments. It's going right back to the air, and I was picked off. He threw it right to Jaquan Brisker. Brisker, you better not get caught by her. You got caught by Herbert, dude. I know you are faster than Justin Herbert. Come on, man. Anyway, we're going to take the ball, though. That's our first takeaway of the day, I believe. And it's just thrown right to Brisker. He's sitting right there. Tried to get it to Josh Palmer. And Brisker, boy, he's got a couple games now with some INTs here. And those have kind of been right at them, both of them. Garoppolo threw him one of them right to him last week, and it's going to get one here. They're going to be bringing that safety off the edge. We are sending, we are running a play action pass, and honestly, kind of want to pull out of it, but honestly, it, it, it might just end up working out for us, and we are going to pick it up pretty well. And we got a wide open Cole Komet yet again, but Fields, you can't make the throw. Every time they're wide open for the touchdown, you always airmail it. Come on, dude. Make the damn throw. Read option here. Fields is going to pick it up with his legs. Can he make a move on Derwin? He's going to put it on the turf again. You got to be fucking kidding me, Fields. You got to be kidding me. Get the. Oh my gosh, dude. I really want to pull Fields right now because of the two stupid boneheaded plays, man. Damn. First and 10, man, in motion. They're going to go play action here. Can't take advantage of the fucking pick, dude. That is so annoying. Third down three. Somebody get in there, make a play on Eckler, and over there, he's extended for that first down, but they're not gonna give it to him. It'll bring up fourth and inches. Andrew Billings making the tackle from the D tackle spot. Not sure how he ended up getting Eckler there, but he ends up making the play. Oh, Herbert trying to get loose again. Herbert's gonna pick up nine. Cleveland Farrell. From a number one pick of the Las Vegas Raiders at the time. I think it was the Oakland Raiders, though. It's going to go down. He'll head back to the locker room. It'll bring up third and one. Offense, we have to pick this up. Y'all got to stop pissing me off here in this one. Come on, man. We've been able to run over them all day today. That shouldn't change here. Third down and one. Hand off Herbert. Herbert's got the first. He breaks a tackle. Herbert moving. Getting up. <laughs> he breaks another tackle. Getting up to the 46-yard line. Herbert wants this win. First and 10, we'll go play action pass here. Khalil Mack is in coverage on Mooney, but guess what? <laughs> Mooney isn't going to be able to get enough separation, and we're not going to get enough a good enough throw to be able to get that over Mack's head. Because that's exactly what Mack does the best in coverage. Let's go right back to the ground here. They're daring us to run it. Hand off Herbert. Herbert picking up a solid gain again. He picks up six. 12 carries, 91 yards for Khalil Herbert. He's absolutely been a bell cow today. Third down and four. Come on, you guys. We got to pick this up. Really, Mooney, you're getting covered by Matt. Come on. Fields able to tightrope the sideline. Picks up the first down. Mooney, you can't, you can't get locked up by Khalil Mack. Like, come on now. Oh, we're getting sacked by Mack now. My God. Mack been all over the damn place this, this drive. Fields is now slow yet again to get up. My goodness, dude. How many times are you just going to keep? Be slow to get up. All right, second and 15. Let's see if we can get some of that yardage back. <laughs> get the fuck out the way. You're pulling, man. I need you to go. Mac back to back plays. We're not in field goal range. We just need, we, we can use a few yards here. 
Third and 16. They kind of sent the blitz. Get it to Komet. Komet's going to pick up a solid gain. That'll put us in field goal range. And Santos will come on and cut this to a one-point game. It was, ended up being a dangerous play, boy, because we almost got sacked there. Thankfully, Komet was able to hold on. And oh, boy. And boy, Santos apparently does not care that the meter is not perfect. He drills it yet again. And that one from 53 yards out cuts it 23-24. It's a nail biter here in L.A. First and 10. Let's see what they decide to do here. They're going to run it to Eckler. Eckler's going to pick up a solid gain of five. Second and five. They're going to go right back to Eckler here. And Jalen Johnson can't make the play. We need Sambo to help out. Sambo is going to bring him down, but not before a huge run by Austin Eckler. Puts them in our territory. To the 38-yard line. Sam Bourne, good touchdown saving tackle. Jalen, you got to make that play, dude. First and 10, they're going right back. Well, they're going to the air here. And Keenan Allen will be untouched for a walk-in touchdown. And that's going to give them a touchdown lead here. And we're going to have to get a two-point conversion. We've got to get in the end zone first because we've been doing that not too often. Well, offense, we're in four-down territory now. Need you guys to come up with something. Because y'all really haven't been the sharpest. First and ten here. We'll go back to the air. And Komet, who's had a big day today, is not going to be able to come down with that one. Third and six. We need this. We're going to have a wide open Mercedes Lewis. Mercedes picks up the first down up to the 35. I'm not sure why Mercedes is in instead of Komet. But yeah, we'll take the first. Over the middle, we got DJ Moore streaking wide open, outrunning some defenders. He'll get out of bounds up to the 36-yard line. Boy, for him to get open, we needed some good protection, and we were able to get it there. Long enough, they were starting to close in on fields. He got hit as he threw yet again. But able to make a strong throw and make that play. Second and six, we'll go play action. We're going to hit DJ Moore over the middle of the field. He's down to the eight-yard line. We had the possession catch that one because I wasn't sure if he was going to get rocked and ended up not catching that one. But we'll take it. No complaints. Let's punch this one in there, you guys. Come on. Too many times we've been having to get settled for field goals. Game's on the line now. We can't kick field goals no more. Hand off Herbert. Herbert's going to pick up a good game. He gets to the five-yard line. We'll take it. Closing on 100 yards today. Feels like he got a little bit of a limp, though. Second and goal from the five. And honestly... I like running in this situation. I also like killing some more clock. Don't want to give Herbert and them a lot of time. But then again, we also need to score in case we don't get the touchdown. So, yeah, I think we got kind of got to get a move on since we don't need a field goal. We actually, I mean, an extra point. We actually need a two-point conversion. So, yeah, let's get a little move on. Third down to go here. We're not able to punch it in with Herbert. Back to throw. Looking downfield. Not much open at all. We got to throw this one away. You got to be kidding me. 31 seconds. Fourth and goal from the three. Well, here's your ball game, folks. Kendrick showed like he was going to come with a blitz. He's going to back out of it. Honestly, I don't like any of the play calls that we got. They're running slants right now. And this is either Mooney or not. Like, my goodness. Oh, here we go. Ball game on the line. Mooney over the middle has got it. Touchdown. Let's go. We need a two-point conversion now. Kendrick's bailed out. I'm not exactly sure where he took off to, but it may have been in man-to-man -man coverage, and Mooney's going to win his route, and he is in there for the touchdown. A two-point conversion is needed. Fields, once again, under pressure. It's a good throw, though. Yeah, this is pretty much a ball game right here. Two-point conversion try. We're running read option. Fields! Fighting! Oh my goodness! Asante Samuel came like a bat out of hell. That should have been an easy walk-in two-point conversion. We got an injury on the play. Not sure who got hurt. I don't think it was Fields because he's on the sideline. But wow! You have got to be kidding me. DJ Moore, you have to block! That's not going to get it done, dude. That is a walk-in touchdown. Well, I mean, we cut it up late, but my, I mean, who the hell knew Asante Samuel was coming in blitzing off like that? He broke the tackle. Unfortunately, Komet didn't hold on long enough, and Fields is denied. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought that was Herbert. He probably would have dropped him. Well, we've had 
not not good success with onsides this year. I mean, there's been times we I've had the onside literally right there, and the kicker not be able to pick it up. But here we go. This is the ball game, pretty much. Santos, we need a good one. And it is easily caught. They catch it, no problem. And that will likely do it here in LA. And it was Field. Fields fractured his hip. He is gone for the rest of the year. Wow. We just lost a starting quarterback. I guess we see why he was frustrated on the sideline. Wow. But that's pretty much goes our season. Season's over. <laughs> season is over. Wow. Up is third and ten. They're going to go back to the ground here, and we're going to blow it up. Defense actually is able to get off the field. I don't know if they're going to decide to try and kick this field goal again. That wouldn't be smart. It would be smart to just punt it. And actually, they're going to end up going for a wow. That might even be more riskier. Well, probably not, but wow. They're actually going to end up going for this. Well, the way our defense is playing, wouldn't be surprised if they end up picking this up. And they actually might end up running this ball here. Fourth down and 12. And they will run it and know where to go. So we're going to need to get us into the 42-yard line. P.J. Walker will enter the game. And honestly, boy, I I don't know how the heck we're going to get in field goal range. We don't have any timeouts. Like, we pretty much just got to get lucky here. But we got 14 seconds. We can get some shots to the sidelines, potentially. And, well, not with throws like that, we can't. And boy, the top, was Tyler Scott running wide the hell open? Second and ten. We need a miracle. I see DJ Moore. We hit DJ Moore, but it's knocked out of his hands. PJ Walker not able to get the... Well, I shouldn't say PJ Walker. Really, he, we were never going to be able to keep this coming back. Like, let's be real. Uh, here's your ball game, folks. We're going to see how far PJ Walker can throw it. And we end up finding a way to get a P.I. He's going to launch it deep as he can, and it is knocked away. That'll do it here in Los Angeles. Sunday night football. We lose this one 31-29. Honestly, without a timeout, you know, being there for us, we just we never had stood a chance of being able to, you know, potentially sit one over the middle of the field. We did. Time would have ran out. But we lose a heartbreaker, and... Possibly, you know, <laughs> our season is over. End up going one and three versus the AFC West. Fields ends up going down, fractures his hip, and he is out for the year. 19 to 31 on the day, 269 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. He also had a pair of fumbles here in this one. Herbert ends up with 100 yards on the ground. Fields also added another 49. And boys, we are not like getting anything for like. You know, Roshan Johnson or, you know, Dante Foreman. None of the backups are getting anything. Cole Komet, seven catches, 97 yards, led us in this one. He came back from injury and did a good job. Mooney, three catches, 23 yards, and a touchdown. DJ Moore, three catches, 78 yards. Spread the ball around quite a bit, and Chase Claypool had the one catch for 34 yards in the touchdown, our first touchdown of the day. Unfortunately, there's nothing else really there for us here in this one. And we're going to end up losing this ball game by two points. Unfortunately, the worst thing possible happened. Justin got hurt. And now it really puts, you know, things into perspective. What do we do? Because his fifth year option is expected to be picked up. And before we get out of here, Tevin Jenkins and Eddie Jackson both have upgrades. Tevin, you probably need all the help you can get. Honestly, throw it in pass protect because we just have no pass protecting really at all. They did a good job versus the team. I thought that was going to get after us pretty well. And Eddie Jackson gets his upgrades as well, but my goodness, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Fields is headed straight to IR, and honestly, I don't know what we're going to do about the rest of this season. Going to be out 19 weeks. Go ahead and throw him on IR. Wow. Just completely lost an entire year of development. Hmm. I have nothing much to say that. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were missing Nate Davis. Right here is going to be out for three weeks. Like, the injuries are piling up, and that's the big one. A fractured hip. That was unreal. You know, DJ Moore, if you just made that block on Asante Sam, if you, you know, if you actually gave an effort, 
he doesn't end up getting hurt. We do have a media question. I have no clue what this is going to end up being about. Our team may be in a good spot, but we just lost our best player. and Well, not best player, but we just lost our best, our quarterback, and we are in trouble. Well, that's going to do it for me, everybody, here in this one. <laughs> Bad news bears, boys. That's all I can say. Bad news bears. We followed in that one to the Chargers. We got the 5-3 and three Saints team. Got to head down to New Orleans with a backup quarterback situation. I don't know what we're about to do here, but we're in a bad spot. We easily might not win another game the rest of the year. So, honestly, that might not be the worst thing going for us, but you know what? We'll see. But that's going to do it for me, everybody. I appreciate you guys coming out in support. Apologies for about the rants and all that stuff going on, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's, it's football, you know. Week in, week out. This good things happen, bad things are happening. They just seem to be in a rut that they'll never get out of, you know, when they play the Packers. So <laughs> it is what it is. But once again, I'm out to next time, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all did, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think how the rest of this season is going to end up going. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of the Chicago Bears franchise and the Tennessee Titans live stream series that we're doing on the channel as well. I'm out to next time, everybody. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. God bless and peace. Close it out, future. It's the love from my fans got me still here